Howdy, and thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Today, I wanted to discuss the concept of functional reserve. Functional reserve is arguably one of the most important concepts to me when helping a family live their best life despite having MS. I define functional reserve or neurological reserve as your nervous system's ability to withstand an insult. Not an insult like you're ugly, an insult like you didn't sleep or you have a fever, something that would tax your nervous system. And as we age, our functional reserve gets smaller. So just by way of example, when I was 18, I could skip a night of sleep and not really care about it and just sleep the next night. As I talk to you in my saying that makes me exhausted. And obviously my functional reserve isn't what it used to be when I was a teenager. Now, not only does age make our functional reserve smaller, people impacted by MS have accelerated shrinking of the functional reserve. So people impacted by MS have a smaller functional reserve than the general population. And that functional reserve can get smaller and smaller over time. Now I wanna share a story about a woman that I recently met in clinic for the first time. We're gonna call her Mary. She's 75 years old. She was diagnosed with MS literally 50 years ago, which is remarkable. And during that time, she has only been on injectable therapies for about five of those years. That was quite some time ago. So the vast majority of her disease process, she's been off of any form of therapy. Well, actually, for the vast majority of her process, there were no therapies invented. So needless to say, she's not had a significant exposure to disease-modifying therapy. She also has continued to smoke a half a pack a day for her entire adult life, something that she has no interest in quitting. She's a widow who lives completely alone and independently, and has been doing a great job until only a couple years ago. Starting a couple years ago, she started to develop some significant disability with ambulation. And she went from needing a cane sometimes to needing two canes to needing a walker, and now having difficulties walking longer distances even with her walker. And this has all happened in her 73rd to 75th uh, year of life. And she's really frustrated because she's had annual MRIs, and the MRIs, for as long as she can remember, have said no new spots, no enlarged spots, no enhancing spots, looking stable. She also shares that she hasn't had an MS attack in many, many years. And so she came to me really frustrated, saying, if I haven't had an MS attack and my scans are stable, and I've done so well for so many years, why the heck am I starting to have so many problems right now? My answer to Mary, is her functional reserve. She's 75 years old, and each year of life, her brain volume gets a little smaller, and her associated neurological functional reserve gets a little smaller. She is a cigarette smoker, and we know that tobacco smoke hardens the arteries of the brain and essentially accelerates brain volume loss and brain aging. And this would, in addition to her untreated MS, accelerate the shrinkage of her functional reserve. When I looked at Mary's MRI brain and spinal cord, it was riddled with lesions. Her cervical spine literally had lesions up and down it, and her burden of disease on her brain MRI was very heavy. Each one of those lesions is an attack from her immune system attacking her nervous system and causing some residual damage, brain and spinal cord damage. And for years and years, Mary could compensate until her functional reserve was no longer able to keep up. And that's why we see a precipitous decline in her function. To help folks understand this, I sometimes use an analogy. Now, take a look at this wall. Imagine that I blew a hole in the wall with a shotgun and it ripped through the electrical circuitry and so that light didn't work. So we hired an electrician that came out to the house and rewired uh, the hole. And so the electricity now works again. When you flip the switch, the light works great. Then I blow a second hole in the wall. And again, I break the electrical line and the light no longer works. So we call the electrician back. And we start this cycle where I blow a hole in the wall and he repairs the wiring. I blow another hole in the wall and he repairs the wiring. Now imagine that this goes on for years and years. At some point in time, we call the electrician out. He looks at the wall and he says, guys, I can't rewire it. 
there's no more wall to rewire. In some ways, I think this is analogous to the structural damage caused by MS. This includes both the damage caused by MS attacks and by new spots seen on your brain MRI and smoldering MS in the background. It's my hypothesis that Mary did outstanding for a long time because her brain is remarkable and she was able to essentially rewire. And she did that for many, many decades. Now, this is an extreme example. Mary went for decades without therapy while smoking and did really well until very recently. Her situation is not common. And most people with MS off DMT who smoke have a much faster decline. What do you think about what I'm saying? And what are your thoughts on functional reserve? Is it something that you think about throughout the course of your MS? Obviously today I tried out a vlog style and I'd love to know your thoughts on that. So until my next video or my next live stream or the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.